I think, first of all, there is clearly a declining political appetite to undertake long-term, large-scale multilateral peace operations. This is due to, to many long-standing and emerging factors, but perhaps the most notable have been the rise of ad hoc uh, security initiatives, a growing reliance on collective security arrangements, and, and of course the persistent challenges surrounding the predictability and sustainability of finance and peace, peace operations. The ad hoc security initiatives in particular may prove to be an increasingly more attractive model uh, for donors, for funders, given the shorter term frameworks of these initi initiatives, less complex and burdensome mandates. I think we um, may likely uh, be approaching a crossroads on peace operations. Uh, and this could potentially undermine years of steady progress on the UN-AU partnership, as peace operations have effectively formed the backbone of the partnership for many, many years. And I think it's also important for us to remember that many other aspects of the partnership uh, relating to conflict prevention, crisis management, uh, are in some ways interwoven into the functioning of, of multilateral peace operations, given the fact that these operations have broad overarching mandates. So in a way, we could argue that if effective cooperation over peace operations does come under increasing strain, we could see some spillover effects which could work to the detriment of joint UN-AU efforts and supports of, of these other thematic areas within the partnership.